you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. Join our website at richtv.io, an ecosystem built by investors, for investors, all over the world, and pretty mixed day in the markets today. U.S. stocks did open higher after another encouraging inflation report. I'm not going to say it was encouraging. It just wasn't as bad as what we expected. Still pretty high inflation at 8.5%. Fed officials say more rate hikes are needed despite slowing inflation. So we are not out of the woods, but we're going to be watching the markets very, very closely and very, very carefully. U.S. retail gasoline price average falls below $4 a gallon for the first time since March. So we are finally getting some relief of the pumps, and that's exactly what we need. Dow closed off slightly green only seven, only 27 points, so pretty choppy day. NASDAQ mostly green most of the day, but did finish slightly red, 74 points. TSX did uh, close off green. The Toronto Stock Exchange up 105 basis points. U.S. PPI slows more than expected. That probably did affect the market a little bit. PPI inflation rises 9.9% in July. Stock futures did rally. Uh, the ones to watch today were Rivian, SIX, GOOS, VERU, all earnings. We're going to be watching very, very closely. We're going to be watching Rivian, SIX, Goose, and VERU earnings. So stay tuned. Those will be out, and you'll be seeing how that responds tomorrow. So caliber, calendar events for August 12th to keep your eye on. So you're going to be definitely watching all of this news for Friday. Preliminary UOM consumer sentiment. This is very high impact news. So keep a close eye on this for Friday. Okay. Financial confidence is a leading indicator of consumer spending, which accounts for a majority of overall economic activity. So very big numbers coming out tomorrow. Mortgage delinquency numbers come out. This is also going to be very important to see how the economy is dealing with interest rates going up. And this is a low impact news, but good to keep an eye on for some insight. So definitely keep your eye on that on Friday. Crypto stats. We want to go through the crypto stats. We're going to go through some of the charts right now of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana, which happen to be my top three cryptocurrency holdings. So let's go through that right now. All right. All right. So we are looking at Ethereum and you can see Ethereum has hit a low in the month of a thousand, hit a high just recently over the last 24 hours of $1,942. So up almost a hundred percent in a month for Ethereum. Obviously that is very bullish. When we look at Bitcoin, it's been as low as 18,900 in the last month, currently sitting right around 24,200 and hit a high of 24,900 in the last 24 hours. So very bullish for Bitcoin. Solana hit a low of $31, hit a high of, let's say, right here, $45.90, currently at $43, looking really, really bullish for Solana as well. If it can stay above that $43 mark, that's going to be very bullish for Solana. And I really believe Solana has a chance to be a multiple for investors. So we've seen Bitcoin go up to 24,000. And every time it gets to that 24,000, 200, 300, 500, 24,800 mark, even hit 24,900, seems to get some resistance. So we're going to be watching that very, very carefully. It has tested the 25,000 mark, but it got rejected very quickly. So 25,000 seems like a good sell zone for investors on Bitcoin. Ethereum did hit, you know, 1,997, trying to get back to that $2,000 level. But every time it gets above that 1,900 mark and it got to 1,942, it seems to sell off and goes back under 1,900. So we want to see it stay above that 1,900 level so that we get some juice and see it rip through 2,000. Solana trying to stay above the $43 level. We'll see if it does. If it does, then we think we may see it break 50. So what do you guys think about the news? What do you think about the analysis? Love to know what you guys think. 
And love to know what you guys think about our daily news and analysis, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can join our ecosystem at richtv.io and join our community and our chats where we're talking about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and so much more. We'd love to hear from you guys. Comment down on the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe for future updates. We talk about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, real estate, metaverse, and so much more. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners. We bring in the news. We bring you CEO interviews. We bring in the analysis, and we bring it to you first. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. Thank you guys for watching Rich TV Live. I'm out.